Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ariviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really cool ways in which you can organize your iOS 14 home screen. From the minimal organization to having widgets on the home screen, different setups that you can create using iOS 14 and its new features, which are really, really amazing. And of course, with the new app library, it makes it that much easier to organize your iOS 14 home screen, make it look really cool and of course, stand out from other devices. The first look is the minimal one. So you can see right here, I have only one page on the home screen of my device. At the top, I have two different widgets, which are very simple. We have the clock here, clock widget, very cool. And also we have day to day, which shows us the current date. Now, what I'm using here is the dark mode on. So it makes the widgets basically blend out with the black wallpaper. Now the wallpaper here is the stock wallpaper. So you just go to settings, go to wallpaper and you will find the black wallpaper there. There, which makes this looks really really nice now right here on the dock you can see i have a folder there i have a few apps here that i use so anytime i can have access to those apps of course right here we have the app library and all the other apps can be found right there now on the left side here on the widgets panel i have two different widgets at the top i have the batteries one which will show me the batteries of my devices and my iphone here now this is the stock one from apple and then i we have an app called motivation basically it will show here every time you go here it will show you a different quote so that's really cool so this is the minimal look right here we have another widget this is the series suggestions so basically it shows you eight apps and it will suggest them from Siri. Basically, you will have like a dynamic home screen here. Each time you come here, it will show you the apps that you use a lot. And of course, you can access them from here. Now, if you find here any apps that you're not like feeling that you want to use in the future, you can just go ahead, 3D touch on them and just tap on here. Do not suggest this app. And then, of course, that will re be replaced with another app and won't be suggested on the home screen. So this is the minimal look anything you need here, the widgets, anything you need will be right down below in the description of the video. The next setup is using a split wallpaper. So what I've done here is create this wallpaper, which on one side is black and makes the widgets blend in and they look really, really nice. On the right side here, we have icons of the apps and you can see I've organized them based on the color. So that makes it look that much cleaner. Also on the dock, we have here green and we have white. So two green icons two white icons, of course, to go along with the split wallpaper. Now, this is also like a simple setup. It doesn't require much. All you have to do is go ahead and download these three widgets. So we'll have clock widget. We have hello weather and sub widget where you can choose to see your favorite channel see the subscribers right there or maybe your channel if you have one on youtube and of course i don't have any other pages here we have the app library and then what we have here on the right side we have three different widgets all from the same app called usage and then they basically show you here different informations regarding your device so we have the ram memory right there you see the free and the used we have the storage of the device and then we have here device information like the system version the uptime the name and the last reboot time of your device so so of course, this wallpaper will be linked right down below in the description of the video. And then of course, all the links of the widgets that you need to create this setup. The next setup can be created using a theme. Now you can see right here, we have a theme with icons that have like that 3D look. They look much better than the stock icons of iOS and they don't have labels as well. That makes them of course look really, really nice and much, much cleaner. Now to download these, you will need to go ahead and go to Safari and from here, go to iSkin, which is a website that allows us to download themes, which of course will be linked right down below in the description of the video. Now, once you go here, you will find a ton of themes. You can rearrange them based on newest or most downloaded. And then all you have to do is just go to one of the themes and from here you will have here application icons and you have here like quick actions you select all if you want to download all the themes directly to your device and here we'll have the names of the icons you can just tap the x if you don't want to have any labels on that icon then go ahead tap on generate theme and from here it will install this profile on your device and of course install the theme now that's all i've done here and i have used this wallpaper which is the stock wallpaper of the new iPads. You can see how cool that looks. Now, I don't have anything else here. All we have is this one page with the themed icons. And right here on the left side, we have four widgets 
three widgets actually these are all from series suggested apps so you can see there are three and they will all show different apps so you will basically have here a dynamic place with different apps that you use frequently and of course you can go ahead and have access to them really quickly now what's cool about these themes is that they actually work and you see that transition right there when you tap on them to open an app you can actually remove that by going to settings go to accessibility and right here under accessibility you will see motion enable reduce motion and then you will see you have like much less of a transition there when opening one of the apps using these icons from this theme very very cool and of course very easy to install with just a few clicks you can install the complete pack of icons without having to download them manually and then go ahead and create shortcuts for these icons of course everything will be linked right down below in the description of the video to create the setup on your iOS 14 device. And the last setup that I've created for this video is a simple one only using widgets. So right here on the main page, we have four different widgets. Now, of course, you can change these and use your preferred widgets on the home screen, of course, the ones that you use the most and need the most. Now, at the top there, we have battery widget. It shows the current battery percentage. And then we have battery widget, but we have the connection one, which shows you the status of your Wi-Fi and cellular data. Of course, whether they are turned on or not then we have favorites here this is an app that allows us to have your favorite contacts right on the home screen and actually also call them from here and then we have the spotify widget so recently spotify has been updated and now it has a widget for the home screen of your ios 14 device now, of course here we have the app library nothing else no other page and then on the left side here i have my apps here from series suggestions and i have the activity and the calendar widget both from apple of course the stock ones and this is the simple setup that you can create only using widgets now you need this wallpaper to create this exact setup of course that will be linked right down below in the description of the video if you want to use this wallpaper with this setup so that's basically it for this video guys these are four different ways that you can organize your ios 14 home screen using the new ios 14 widgets and of course all the new features the app library and all the new features that ios 14 has to offer of course there are a lot of cool setups that you can create these are some that i've created that i believe are very cool and of course most of them are also very useful to have apps that you need very frequently like suggested apps from sierra and all that and of course have your preferred widgets right there on the home screen so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like on this video and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys on the next one